hey guys welcome to my channel top flight classes in this video we are going to solve the question number 19 of exercise 5.3 now question number 19 says 200 logs are stacked in the following manner 20 logs in the bottom row 19 in the next row 18 in the next row to it and so on in how many rows are the logs placed and how many logs are in the top row so up is case mein hamare paas total number of logs jo hai that is equal to 200 and logs in the bottom most row that is equal to 20 in the second last row that is equal to 19 then is se ek pehli row mein 18 hai so, aise hamari logs aa rahi hain to ab yahan se aap clearly dekh sakte ho that the total number of logs which is the sum of all the logs that is equal to 200 so therefore i will get from here that s is equal to 200 then bottom most row mein hamari number of logs is 20 so let us say that a is equal to 20 in this case then he says second last row mein 19 hai usse ek row pehle mein 18 hai so therefore jo hum common difference nikalenge is case mein that will be 19 that is in the second last row minus the last row that is 20 so minus 1 is the common difference agar hum third or second term se nikale that is 18 minus 19 which is also equal to minus 1 so clearly here D jo hai, that comes out to be minus 1. So now he says that using these three things I have to find the number of rows and the number of logs in the topmost row. So now number of rows jo hai, that will be equal to n that is the number of terms in this case and number of logs in the topmost row that will be equal to a n to ab solve karne ke liye sabse pehle hum sum of n terms ka formula likhte hain that is given by s of n is equal to n by 2 times 2 a plus n minus 1 times d ab is case mein hamare paas d hai hamare paas a b hai hamare paas s n b hai hame sirf n nikalna hai so s n given in this case is 200 is equal to n by 2 kyunki n nikalna hai 2 into a that is equal to 20 plus n hame nikalna hai minus 1 times d that is minus 1 so yahan se what i'll get is 200 into 2 that is 400 is equal to n times 2 into 20 that is 40 plus minus n plus 1 so yahan se what i will get is 400 is equal to n times we have 40 over here and plus 1 over here so i get 41 minus n so now if i open the brackets i get 400 is equal to 41 n minus n square so from here i get that n square minus 41 n plus 400 is equal to 0 so now again agar hum splitting the middle term karte hain splitting the middle term mein minus 41 n ko hume do terms mein divide karna hai such that the product of those two terms is equal to the product of the coefficient of n square with the constant term so that is 1 into 400 which is equal to 400 and the sum that we want is middle term itself that is minus 41 so now if we do 400 ka prime factorization karte hai, so 400 is divisible by 2 so i will get from here 200 then again divisible by 2 i get over here 100 then again divisible by 2 i get over here 50 and again divisible by 2 i get over here 25 and i get 5 into 5 is 25 so in this case mein dekho, we have sum is negative and the product is positive so that means the two numbers that we get from here will be negative so agar yahan se hum pehle do number select karte hain to we have 4 that means minus 4 and jo hamare baki number bacha that is minus 100 so minus 4 into minus 100 is 400 but minus 4 plus minus 100 that is equal to minus 104 so that is not required then agar hum aage baat karte hain we have over here 8 and we are left with 50 so minus 8 into minus 50 that will be equal to 400 but minus 8 plus minus 50 that will give me minus 58 which is not required then agar hum char terms le lete hain that is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 that will be minus 16 and multiplied by minus 25 that will give me 400 and minus 16 plus minus 25 will give me minus 41 and that is what is required so yahan se jo do terms aa jati hain they are minus 16 n and minus 25 n to yahan se jab hum split kar denge middle term ko i will get n square minus 16 n minus 25 n 
plus 400 is equal to 0. From the first two terms, you can see that n is common. So, as say n common, I will get n minus 16 in the bracket. In the next two terms, you can say minus 25 is common. So, I will take minus 25 common out. I get n minus 16 inside the bracket. This is equal to 0. अब जो दो टर्म्स आई हमारे पास इन दोनों टर्म्स में आप क्लियरली देख सकते हो कि n minus 16 जो है that is common. So from here I can take n minus 16 common out. I will get n minus 25 in the bracket which is equal to zero. So यहाँ से n minus 16 is equal to zero और n minus 25 is equal to zero. तो हमारे पास n की वैल्यू जो है that comes out to be either 16 और n की वैल्यू जो है that comes out to be 25. तो हमने n की वैल्यूज निकाल ली. अब हमें nth टर्म चाहिए. तो nth टर्म निकालने के लिए फॉर्मूला क्या होता है? a n is equal to a plus n minus one times d. So now if n is equal to 16, तो इस केस में क्या होगा? That if I find a 16 that will be a in this case is 20 plus n is 16 minus 1 times d is minus 1. So a 16 will be equal to 20 plus 15 into minus 1. So from here I get a 16 is equal to 20 minus 15. So a 16 comes out to be 5. So therefore is case mein hamare paas number of rows jo hain they come out to be 16 and number of logs in the topmost row they are equal to 5 now if n is equal to 25 तो उस केस में अगर हम a 25 निकालते हैं that will be a which is 20 plus n that is 25 minus 1 times d that is minus 1 so from here i get that a 25 is equal to 20 plus this is 24 into minus 1. So from here I get a25 is equal to 20 minus 24. So a25 comes out to be minus 4. Now a25 kya represent karta hai yaha pe? That the number of logs in the topmost row. Now number of logs in the topmost row cannot be negative. Number of logs to negative ho nahi sakti na? So isi liye ye jo value hai n ki 25 this value is rejected. अब ये वैल्यू आती क्यों है क्योंकि दिस इज अ डिक्रीजिंग एपी तो आपका क्या होगा यहां से आपने 20 से शुरू किया 20 19 18 17 एंड सो ऑन देन 5 पे आ गया इसके बाद ये और डिक्रीज होगा तो आपका क्या होगा यहां पे आ जाएगा 4 3 2 1 0 फिर नेगेटिव टर्म शुरू हो जाएंगी ऐसे 25th टर्म पे जाके आपके पास माइनस 4 आ जाएगा तो ये जो सारी टर्म्स हैं इनका जब आप सम करोगे तो वो जीरो हो जाएगा। That is why the sum of the first sixteen terms will be equal to the sum of the first twenty-five terms. That is why we get n की two values over here, but one value will be rejected because the number of logs in this case cannot be negative. So number of rows in this case comes out to be sixteen. Number of logs in the topmost row come out to be five, and that is the solution of this particular question. So guys, thanks for watching the video. For any doubt regarding this video or any other topics, you can contact us on email or WhatsApp as shown on the screen. Please like, comment and share this video. For more videos, subscribe to the channel Top Flight Classes and click on the bell icon so you do not miss any updates. Happy learning!